thousands of Israeli nationalists chant death to Arabs on a Jerusalem Day March. This, unfortunately, is a story that I've heard too many times and seen too many times with my own eyes. Thousands of Israeli nationalists took to the area in Jerusalem, East Jerusalem in particular, uh, chanting death to Arabs. Every uh, year, there's something called Jerusalem Day. And Jerusalem Day marks Israel's capture of East Jerusalem, including the old city. That's where uh, Aqsa Mosque is. That's where the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall is. That's where the Church of Sepulchre is. All this stuff is in old city Jerusalem. It was captured in 1967 uh, during the Six Day War. And it's illegal to capture land through conquest, through, through war. It's illegal to keep land that you capture through force. East Jerusalem is not Israel's. East Jerusalem is contested territory at best. And the international consensus is that this is a final status decision, but ultimately Israel does not own East Jerusalem. And yet Israel continues to pretend that it does. And every year they commemorate Jerusalem day, the day that they took the land by force and they march and they go through the Palestinian areas, the Arab areas, the Muslim areas, the Christian areas, uh, all, and they cause trouble. As you see here, they walk through East Jerusalem, chanting, uh, doing uh, provocations, encur encouraging violence, incitement, right? They do Talmudic readings, they dance, they wave the Israeli flag, they do different things, which in and of themselves wouldn't be a problem, except you're doing it as you march through other people's land, you're on other people's house, you're on other people's property. And they do it to start fights, they do it to start violence, they do it to create problems. It is like a clan march in the South, or the North for that matter, let's not pretend. This is literally what they do on Jerusalem Day. And so today, Jerusalem Day was no different. They marched through East Jerusalem. They went right outside of uh, Bab al Amud, also known as Damascus Gate, uh, yelling anti-Arab slogans, anti-Muslim slogans, chanting death to Arabs. In fact, um, <laughs> it is an act of terrorism. I'm gonna call it an act of terrorism. When you march through someone's land, threatening to kill them, provoking violence, and you have the power of the state behind you, it is terrorism. It is brutally ugly. It is, um, it's scary. It's awful, that's all I can tell you. And again, I've been in Jerusalem on Jerusalem day. I've been in the old city. I've spent years uh, doing research in East Jerusalem. And I can tell you when they come through, it's violent, it's ugly, it's terrifying. And the thing even more terrifying than just settlers coming in and provoking you is the fact that you know that if you defend yourself or you fight back or you get angry or get provoked, that there's a military, there are police officers, there are guns, there are tanks, there are all kinds of weaponry that will put you in your place and not the other way around. So um, I don't want people to ignore this. Again, this will be a moment in history when people go back and look where they say, oh my God, how did we live through this? How did we allow this to happen? How did we witness this type of sheer uh, brutality and barbarism and not respond. It's how we're going to think about this. It's how we're going to talk about this. But right now we continue to ignore it. So as you're paying attention to Gaza, as you're paying attention to the awful, awful genocidal war that's being prosecuted by Israel against the people in Gaza, and it's a war on Gaza, do not lose sight of the West Bank. Do not lose sight of East Jerusalem because settler violence continues. Settler raids continues. Settler expansion continues. And settler terrorism continues right here uh, in East Jerusalem.